Welcome back to Weems Motor Co. It is a cold, rainy day here in Florida. Let's find something to do around the shop. So here we are, back in the shop, as always, working on the Born Free 13 build and something special needs to happen today. We need to take and get the exhaust ready for fabrication. Well, the problem with that is, is if you see the motor, I've kind of just chopped the exhaust ports right off of it, uh, which means I gotta fabricate new exhaust ports. Uh, the idea of that is to take and build some instead of like the original triumphs they had these slide on style um exhaust well might be a little bit easier to show you than it is to try to explain it so on this 1971 engine we got here you can see the exhaust ports they just kind of hang out there and, and what you do is you take a pipe like this and you just kind of slide them over there and then you have this pinch clamp and it's cool, I like it. I love Triumph original stuff, but this is born free. You just can't have bolt-on pieces and parts and expect it to be cool. So, the plan today is to take this solid billet 6061 aluminum, two inch diameter. I'm gonna mill a hole through the middle. We're gonna chuck it up on the lathe, cut some material out of this. And we are going to create two ports that will have exhaust that mount on with these cool little things. Now this is a copper crush gasket for a Ford flathead V8 motor, like a car motor. And I just thought it was cool because you've got these cool little flanges, you can mount your exhaust right on it so it bolts onto the front rather than have that little slip on style exhaust that Triumph was kind of normally known for. Well, I haven't uh, told you guys, but I've done this before. Uh, back in around 2010, 2011, I was working with a good buddy. Uh, he had a custom motorcycle shop up in Virginia. I happened to be stationed there when I was in the army and I would work there on the days off. And we built this 1974 Triumph 750. Uh, it was an enduro, like half dirt bike, half road bike, super cool bike. We built it for the uh, National Biker Build-Off and did really well with it actually. And with that bike, we welded those exhaust ports shut and we machined them so that it would bolt on flange style. I'm gonna take that idea that we've done before, adapt it a little bit, make it a little bit cooler. And we're gonna take some aluminum flat stock and we're gonna machine those flange mounts so they slide on the tubing and so that we can put a stainless steel exhaust on there. So that's the plan for today. Hopefully we can get a majority of it done. I'm gonna tell you guys, I am not the greatest aluminum welder in the world. Heck, I, I'm not the greatest welder in the world, but I do have good friends that are really good welders and I am putting them to work helping me on this Born Free build because I have so much stuff on my plate. Luckily, I can just tack things up, send it to them, let them do the finish welding, and I'll clean it up, make it look pretty and stuff after that. So that's the plan today is to make these exhaust flanges, make these exhaust ports, and get it tacked up on the head so that we can get this thing ready to get down and get the exhaust made up. Stick around.
right, so obviously, probably at this very moment, you're asking yourself, hey, Weems, why didn't you just go buy a piece of tubing to those dimensions? Well, two reasons for that. Number one, I priced a piece of tubing for that, and it was gonna cost $85 for one foot section, and it was gonna take like four days to get it. So I was kind of like, mm, okay, well, I know you guys have some round stock. Let me just grab a piece of two inch round stock, 6061, one foot long, and it came out to a grand total of $31. So there's your answer why. Now, just a little bit of work, drilling some holes, doing some line boring, and I have something that's the exact dimensions that I need to make these exhaust ports. Now we have to trim them so that they can fit right evenly against those places on the head. And then we can tack them up, make some flanges and get this thing rolling. All right, so now you're asking yourself, all right, so you got this really cool piece of aluminum tubing. How are you gonna attach it to the motor? Well, first off, these ports where I cut them, it's not, a straight angular cut uh, just because of the way the head's designed. I did not want to get into the uh, valve area where the valve spring sits and have to worry about all of that mess. So I just kind of machined around all of that. So it left kind of a stepped cut. So I have some angle, nice smooth around the outside, then it steps in at this one little spot. So I need to take that tubing and cut it so that it matches right up and that these come straight out. I don't want them to come out in angles. I want them to come straight out. So that's a fun little thing to do. Uh, kind of a cheat, and people have done this on exhaust systems for a long time, is to take a piece of paper. Uh, I got a little piece of paper. It's about an inch and a half by maybe four and a half, five inches long. And uh, you simply just wrap it around the area that you want to cut your piece to fit. And because I want these to come out in a straight perpendicular uh, way, I don't want them to follow the contour of what's already coming out of the head. So I have to actually offset this and look at it so that it's coming straight out. And what you do simply once you do that, you just get your paper, get it generally we'll have to do some trimming once we get it done uh get these cut we'll leave a little bit extra meat um but get that and then take a pencil and then just trace right along that edge and that will tell you roughly where you need to cut your tubing cut the outside of it trace it onto your piece of tubing cut it to fit let's make it happen So back in the day, I'd say around 2004, when I was in the army attending jump master school, I learned a saying, and that saying was, fast is smooth and smooth is fast. It's not how fast you get things done, but it's how accurate you get the things done. So if you take your time, you can actually do some pretty incredible stuff. So we got these things sanded down. Yeah, it's the hard way. I always do things the hard way. I could have put them in a mill, milled off a lot of extra material, but I decided I was just gonna go ahead, use the sander, get it knocked down. And I worked up a little jig to set this head on so that we can get the alignment of those exhaust ports coming out so that they come out perpendicular. Nothing fancy, just a couple two by fours, a piece of wood, just kind of screwed things together so that I can align those and get all those weird little angles that were on there straight. So I think it's come out pretty good. Uh, pretty much the next point is, is we need to make the flanges so that we can mill or we can machine off the excess material so that we can weld on the flanges. Well, let me give you just a sneak peek of the little jig. 
with those exhaust ports on it so you get an idea of how and why I'm doing this. I think that's pretty cool. I mean, it's a lot of work for just a little bit of reward, but to me, it's all about the reward, so I'll put in the hard work. Well, let's get these flanges made. Well, I guess the only thing left to do now is just to put some tack welds on it. Just knock it out. Well, folks. That's gonna about wrap up this video. Thanks for hanging out today. If you're new around here, jump down, hit that subscribe button. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up. Turn those notifications on and let everyone know what's going on right here at Weems Motor Co. Peace.